The authorities in China have removed from websites a popular documentary which highlights the country's severe pollution problem. Under the Dome explains the social and health costs of pollution, and was watched by more than 100 million people online, sparking debates. It was removed just two days after Premier Li Keqiuyag called pollution a blight on people's lives. Mr. Li had promised to fight it with all the government's might. The environmental issue has dominated the current session of the Chinese parliament, the National People's Congress, in Beijing. The newly appointed Environmental Protection Minister, Chen Jig, had praised under the dome, telling reporters it should encourage efforts by individuals to improve air quality. But the huge popularity of an impassioned, independent film on the issue appears to have made the communist authorities nervous, correspondents say. Under the Dome, a year-long investigation of pollution in China, had garnered more than 100 million views in less than 48 hours. Made by renowned investigative journalist Che Jig and funded with her own money, the film sharply criticizes the Chinese state's lax environmental laws. As of Saturday, the film was no longer available on popular Chinese mainland video sites. A link on the Yaku website that previously led to the video now prompts the message, We are very sorry, Yaku was unable to find the page you requested. Neither Yaku or Ms. Che responded immediately when asked to comment. The Reuters news agency reports. Fight smog instead. China operates the world's most formidable online censorship machine, known as the Great Firewall. Some social media users in China voiced frustration at the removal of the film. When will this country be able to face the attitudes of its own people? Wrote one Weibo user, quoted by AFP news agency. Another Weibo user quoted by Reuters wrote, Some people have the power to completely smother Chajigs under the dome on the internet but don't have the power to smother Hayes in this country. Alvin Lin, the Beijing-based China Climate and Energy Policy Director of the US-based environmental group The Natural Resources Defense Council, said the buzz around Che's film had ultimately made officials nervous. They've made a big deal about air pollution in the last couple of legislative meetings, he told the AP News Agency. Under the Dome made it so they really really have to talk about it. Willie Lam, a political analyst at the Chinese University in Hong Kong, said, They are really serious about this except the problem is really entrenched. It is intertwined with all aspects of industry and agriculture and so forth and it's a really difficult problem to tackle. The film is still available on YouTube with English subtitles.